What's up guys? I'm gonna show you how to make on this compressor, this three-phase compressor. It's in the train and telepack. It's easier just to voice over these, those damn units run so loud. Got my fluke. This compressor, like I just pointed to, is a 460 volt, so you put that thing up to uh, 500 volts when you're testing. You can do 1002, but you know, based on voltage, you wanna test at the range that the motor is running at. This meter has the test button on the actual probe. You know, if you don't have a fluke, it'll just have it right on the face, just like that one. You can see I'm pushing the test. You want it to go all the way to 550 and then back down. And wherever it stops at, that's your mega I'm reading. That was 491. Next one is 550. And that was a bad reading. You got to make sure you get it on there good. There we go. Proper reading right there. 241 on that next winding. Next one's 282. So easiest thing to do when you have multiple compressors like this, you know, they all have different ranges, especially when with refrigerant in them. You know, factory tests are different with, with no refrigerant in the compressors. Uh, they say anything, you know, below 100 is bad. You know, I, I pretty much range it. If I'm testing good compressors around it uh, and I'm way under, then I know that that compressor's bad. In this case, we were tripping a breaker you know, every once in a while on that compressor. So we test the resistance on the windings, you know, insulation resistance, and find that this one was way under what the other compressors were running at. So that's what told us that this compressor was on its way out. So hope that helped. Later.